All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for clicking on the video. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, then hey, how's it going? And if this is your second time here, then welcome back. Happy to see you. So in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about is how to optimize your computer's performance and, you know, kind of how to clean up some of those pesky files so your computer can be running at its maximum potential. And so before we get into that, actually, if you want to try out a seven day free trial of Norton, if at any point you're interested in giving it a shot, then go to the link down in the description below and you have access to a seven day free trial of any of these four Norton offers that they have available. And you can try all of these nice, wonderful features and, you know, give it a whirl. So if that's something that interests you, then hop over to the description and check out our link that you won't find anywhere else. All right, so let's kick this off. Let's talk about how to optimize your computer's disk. So to do that, go to device security and click on performance or double click. Actually, let me just double click here and then go on to optimize disk and then it will do its job. And we might have to uh, speed this up and edit. Oh, never mind you see it just doesn't want to stop so what we're going to do here is we're going to go and look at the details because it will give us more information as to maybe we need to clean up 15 percent of our disk space and conveniently we do so what we're going to do to actually achieve that is we're going to back out of this and clean up some files and so what this will do is clean up the temporary files that we aren't using after browsing so it just goes into windows and internet explorer and cleans up those files that you know were left over after browsing and next up we'll talk about how to deal with some of those apps that boot up a lot sooner than you'd like them to say you have steam discord or spotify those are three apps that for me at least they start up immediately and it kind of slows down the boot up process so to make that a little more convenient convenient for you, what you want to go and do is click on startup manager, which is just under performance right there. And you can click on them and you can delay the start if you want. And then the whole boot up process will be a lot quicker because they won't be the first thing that loads up. It'll wait some time and then your computer will get to the home screen much more efficiently. And if you don't know which app actually um, takes up a lot more of your resources, which is why it uh, takes your computer a little more to boot up, then you can find it right here. For me right now, it's not showing up, but regardless for you, it probably will. And it will give you you an idea of which ones are taking up the most amount of space when loading your computer and all the uh, programs up. So to do that, really, all you have to do is, you know, click on delay start, check off which one you want to delay, press apply. And then once that's done, you're able to take care of that. And for the future, you won't have to really worry about it taking up too much of your computer's boot up time. And the last thing that I just want to touch on are some of the graphs that Norton provides. So in the same performance section, you click on the graphs and you get an idea of, well, at least in the events part, you get an idea of how many times something has been done, how many times, say, a installation was done, how many times a threat was detected, and generally, you know, scans, optimizations, things of that sort. So this is how many downloads was done in, uh, I don't know what time this was. Yeah, so the 27th, which was Friday. So quite a bit. I was going ham with the downloads that day. And so that gives you an idea of, you know, what was going on for any particular day or month. And then in the usage, I find this particularly important because you get an idea of what app and software is using up your uh, CPU and memory the most. So right here, Audacity 12%, Microsoft Edge 9, and I don't know exactly what this is, but regardless, it's using up, I believe, 4%, something like that. And so, yeah, you can take a look at this and take a look at the memory section to see what you need to maybe adjust and perhaps get rid of some apps that are using too much memory without your knowing. And so Norton doesn't use too much. It usually ranges from like one to five from what I've gathered. And so, yeah, it gives you a really, really good look at what's going on and perhaps some things that you can reconsider as to like, you know, maybe I don't need this app. It's using too much or why is this using too much on my CPU or memory? So, yeah, that's basically all I really had to talk about today. Um, if you guys found this in four then definitely hit the like button to, you know, get this video through the algorithm so other people who need this type of information can get it and subscribe to, you know, keep the lights going on here and to let us know that you like these kinds of videos. And also before I let you go, uh, well not consider hitting that, but go down to the link in the description to check out the seven day free trial. If you haven't already, you have all these features available, even try the most expensive one and just go crazy on all the features that they have. So definitely check that out if you're interested. And as for now, if you like the video, we appreciate you being here and until next time, time, well, I'll be seeing ya.